designing combinational logic circuit so this video is an example that show on how we can design combinational logic circuit using the case study okay, based on this case study the diagram shown below is a water filtering system water filtering system so it has the sensing detector so sensing detector will generate a quality scale from 0 to 7 so based on this scale selected filter will be activated in order to produce clean water so this is your water filtering system so based on this diagram you can look you have the sensor detector at here you have the logic circuit at here and you have the filter at here okay the question asks to design the logic circuit so your task is to design this logic circuit or this combinational logic circuit so when you want to design this logic circuit you must based on this condition so the step that you need to do first one you need to draw the truth table for the logic circuit after that you need to simplify the boolean expression using the kmap then based on the simplified expression you need to draw the logic circuit so first solution you need to draw the true table okay. based on this water filter the scale quality is 0 to 7 so that means you have number 0 until number 7 so 0 is 0 7 is equal to binary 1 1 1 so that means you have 3 variable as the input and based on this diagram you have three filters so you have filter E filter B and filter C so when you draw your true table you must have three input A B and C and then the output will be filter E filter B and filter C So at the input part you have 0 0 0 until 1 1 1 and then you need to determine the value of output at here based on the condition given here okay let's say for example here scale 0 no filter are activated so that means at 0 0 0 there is no filter activated so all filter equal to 1 the next point Scale 1 means 0, 0, 1 Only filter A activated So at this point 0, 0, 1 Only filter A activated So filter E equal to 1 The rest equal to 0 At scale number 2 That means 0, 1, 0 Filter E, filter B and filter C are activated so at this point 0 1 0 scale number 2 filter A filter B and filter T uh, filter C are activated Next part at scale number 3 means 0 1 1 only filter B is activated So at this point only filter B is equal to 1 the rest equal to 0 Okay the next part at scale number 4 mean 100 zero zero, only filter A is activated so 100 zero zero, only filter A is activated the rest is equal to 0 the next part at scale number 5 A and B are activated only filter A and filter B are activated so at 0 or at 101 zero one, filter A filter B is equal to 1 filter C equal to 0 okay the next scale is scale number 6 so scale number 6 is 110 one so 
filter A and filter C are activated so at this point filter E and filter C are activated and the last scale is scale number 7 at the scale number 7 1 1 1 all filter are activated so 1 1 1 all filter are activated so based on the case study based on the condition uh, of the water filtering system now you already derive the truth table based on the case study the second part you need to simplify the boolean expression using the KMAP so at this point you have truth table with three output column filter A, filter B, filter C so that means you must construct three KMAP table for filter A, filter B and filter C so each KMAP is based on the can map for three variable which are E, B and C so total number of cells is equal to 8 because 2 power of 3 equal to 8 so this one is the can map for filter A this one is can map for filter B and this one is the can map for filter C so at this point you need to refer to the column filter A and identify filter A equal to 1 and then plot the binary 1 into this KMAP table so at here cells number 1 equal to 1 so cell number 1 equal to 1 cell number 2 equal to 1 so refer, refer to here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or another way okay that's one filter a equal to one at here so this not this part equal to a not b not c so you find a not b not c put number one at here you have a not b c not so you need to find a not b c not so a not b c not at here Okay, the next one at here you have A, B not, C not. So you find cells number 4, A, B not, C not. So A, B not, C not at here. Okay, the next one you have A, B not, C. Okay, you need to find A, B not, C. So A, B not, C at here. A, B not, C at here. Okay, the next part you have E, B, C not. So E, B, C not. This cell. And then lastly you have A, B, C. So A, B, C at this point. So done plotting the binary one into your KMAP. So the next part you need to draw the loop. So based on this KMAP, you can draw the loop. Loop. 1 for the biggest one so at this loop it equal to A because all the cell contain A value so you can extract A the next part you can draw this loop wrap with this one Okay, remember you need to find the biggest loop as possible as you can find so at this point you have B naught both has B naught and both also have C so you extract B naught C at this point this loop we have A naught B C naught A B C naught so both contain B C naught so you can extract B C naught so the expression for the filter E E equal to sorry filter e equal to e plus b not c plus b c not so done for the expression for filter a next we continue on filter b so based on the output at filter b here identify the value of 1 so 1 1 1 1 so that means you have 4 cells with the value of 1 
so one here come from cells number two so cells number two one here cells number three at this point is cells number five and this point cells number seven okay done plotting your binary number one so next part you need to draw the loop so this can be your first loop and this one is your second loop so based on loop number one both contain a not b so you extract a not b second loop both contain a and c a and c so you extract a c so your boolean expression for filter b is equal to a not b plus a c okay continue on filter c so filter c is refer to this column identify output equal to one so at here we have one at cells number two so you put one at here and then you have another one at cell number six okay you put six equal to one here and the lastly we have one at cell number seven then you already plotted all the binary one into your cam map. The next step you need to draw the loop. Okay, the first loop that you can draw is here, and another one as here. So based on this first loop, you can extract B and C naught. Both have B and C naught. At this point, at this loop, you can extract A B because both has A B. So your boolean expression for filter C equal to B C naught plus A B. And the lastly, after you got all the boolean expression for filter E, filter B, and filter C, you can draw your combinational logic circuit. This one, in it, you can refer to chapter two, logic gates, in order to identify the uh, symbol that you need to use okay so that's all for chapter camera